Hi everyone, welcome to the new part of this series. In this video, we will learn how to add a project reference to another project using CLI, which is .NET Core CLI. So let's begin. We will learn how to add reference between two or more applications. So basically, we will create two projects and then more than two projects, and then we will see how to add the reference from one project to another project. To add a reference, we need to learn the following command. We have to use add and reference. So these two keywords we are going to use if we need to add the reference from one project to another project. So let's go to the demo and let's see how it works. So here on my left side, I have the CLI, the command line tool. And on the right side, I have the file explorer. So first, let's create a project. So suppose I'm going to create a console application and the name of the console application is C app one. So on the right side, you can see that we have the application. And if I open this in the Visual Studio code, then so this is the Visual Studio code. And here you can see we have one folder, which is C app one. And inside the C app one, we have both the files, the program file and the CS close file. Okay, and in the CS close file, right now we don't have any other information. We just have the SDK and the target framework and the output type. Now let's go back to the CLI. And now let's create a class library project. And to create a class library project, you have to use class LIP and we have to provide the name of this class library project. So suppose it is CL1. Okay, and if I press enter, you can see on the right side in the file explorer we have a new project which is cl1 and now let's open the visual studio code here you can see we have both the folders this is the console application and this is the class library project and now we will start from the very basic requirement suppose i have to add the class library project reference to the original console application project so to do this we have to go in the console application directory so cd so here i am in the console application directory and now all i have to do is dot net add reference what reference we are going to add we have to add the reference of the cli so we have to go first to the back on the original folder cli cl1 and then cl1 dot cs pros so we have to apply this command let's press enter and you will see the reference is added to the project let's go to the visual studio code and let's see what are the changes here in the cf1 cs pros in this cs pros file we have one more item group and in that item group we have a project reference okay which is cli dot cs pros now let's see can i use the class here in the console application okay so all I have to do is I have to provide the namespace using CL1 okay and in the CL1 I have a class which is class 1 here let's create the new object for the class 1 and class 1 is available in the intelligence also so class 1 so suppose obj new class 1 okay and now let's do something in the class one so suppose i have a method here public string suppose the name and this is going to return a name and now i have to use this class inside the console application program so let's go to the program.cs and here in the hello world let's type obj dot name okay and now let's run the solution dot net run so what we have as output nithis and where it is coming from it is coming from the class library project that's how you can add the reference of one project to another project now let's see the another way of adding this let's go back to the original folder suppose i am here in the origin folder okay and inside this folder we have both the applications and now let's create one more class library project so dotnet 
new class library and suppose the name is cl2 okay now what we are going to learn without going inside the folder we have to add the reference from the original folder and now let's see how to add the reference from outside the folder okay so for that we have to type dot net and now at this point we need to enter the name of the cs pros where we are going to add the reference of the other project so suppose now we are going to add class library 2 in the control application so we have to type c app 1 and inside this we have cs pros file okay reference so in this cs pros file we are going to add a reference whose reference here we have to provide the source project cs pros path so which is c l 2 and cl2 dot cs pros okay just press the enter okay so this need to update the spelling of the reference and now let's press enter so you will see the class library 2 is also added in the console application let's see the changes in the visual studio code and if i go to the cs pros of the console application here then you will see in the item group we have two project reference which is cl1 cs pros which were which was added previously <coughs> and now we have the cl2 which is the new added reference now let's try one more sample and now we are going to add multiple projects reference at one time and for that let's create two application .NET, new class library name suppose it is cl3 okay so we have the class 3 here let's see we have the class 3 okay let's create one more class library project so suppose it is class 4 so we have class 4 project as well and now in the single go we are going to add the class 3 and class 4 reference to the console application let's see how to do this here first you have to type the target cs pros file so dot net add the cs pros and if you are inside that project then you don't have to type the cs pros name but if you are outside the project then you have to type the cs pros name and then the reference and now we have to provide the source project cs pros file path so which is cl3 and cl3 dot cs pros space cl4 and cl4 dot cs pros okay and if i press enter here you will see two reference are added in the console application let's verify the changes in the visual studio code and here you can see that we have two references added in the console application so that's how you can add the reference of one project to another project i hope you have learned how to add the reference of one project to another project using multiple ways so that's all in this part thank you for watching have a great day